Hello YouTube, welcome to your second tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to be able to make the player, the view, or the camera, follow the player when you're going to walk around, learn how to make the stats, health, experience, and level, and we're also going to make some enemies with basic AI. Now, let's go ahead and open up the room, let's make the uh, camera follow the player. Just go to view, or you ha have your room set up, go to views, enable use of views, visible when room starts. Now, make sure you have this down here. Set this to a high number. Oop. Okay, what this is, this is how far from the side of the screen your player will be allowed to go. Since so it was 32 by 32, or 32 to 32, your player has to be 32 pixels away from the screen before the screen scrolls. But we I just want to set this because this will automatically center of the screen. Now, let me go and set. I was messing around with this earlier. Um. Yeah, this here is pretty much what yours should look like now. Also, make sure this is set to player. The object following, that's not set to player, it will not be able to follow the player. Now, go to settings, that's going to change the room size to 5,000 by 5,000. Let's test the game, see if the, a view follows the player. And now as you can see, the screen will now follow the player. Now, let's just go I'm real quick, that we'll be able to see it a little, a little bit more clearer make a real quick background five okay rectangle actually no I want to be like this I'm so quick real quick give it a background so we'll be able to see uh okay if you want to give the room a background make sure in your room click backgrounds and then you uh, select what background you want to use take off now as you can see have the room with a background. Test the game now. Make sure the play the screen follows the player. And now, as you can see, the screen will actually follow the player. But the view will or the camera will not go beyond the room's uh, dimensions. Okay. <coughs> now that we have that out of the way, let's go ahead and make uh, make stats for the player, such as your health, your experience, and your level. Let's make a new object. Call this obj underscore HUD. What is a HUD? Well, this is what's gonna be shown, uh, drawn on the screen, uh, on your camera when you go to move. Uh, let's don't give it no sprite because we don't want this to be seen inside the game. So make sure you don't give it no sprite. Let's go ahead and add event, create. Let's go. And, let's go and create some variables. What are variables? Variables are value holders you'll be able to change at any time throughout your throughout your game. Let's go and create a few variables. Let's go add the create event and drag some code to the create event. Let's first of all start off. Let's first start off with making, let's say, health. Make two variables. HP equals, let's say, 50. And HPTO equals 50. Well, HP is going to be your, your health stat that's constantly being changed. HPTO is going to be your max health. Let's go ahead and just click check mark, add event, draw. Draw underscore health bar. X one, let's say view underscore x view zero. Place zero with the view number that you're currently using. I'll show you how to be able to get that number. Versus views right here. I'm using view zero, so that's the number I want to use. Or go back to the HUD. So view x view zero. Comma view underscore y view zero. Comma view or x view zero plus let's say 128 one want, want it to be 128 long plus view or right now view underscore y view zero plus let's say 16 amount would be hp slash hpto times 100 reason why we have to put this formula in is because the health bar only reads between or times 100 the health bar only reads between a range of zero and 100 so the uh, reason why, uh, what this is doing, first of all, gets a health and max health into a decimal, multiplies that by 100, so you get a percentage between 0 and 100. Okay, now we the next one. Back color, would we want the back color, let's say, for example, black. C underscore black. Or if you want to do another one, type in C underscore, and I'll show you a list of all the colors. I'll show you. C underscore, and now it shows you a list of all the colors. I want to set for the uh, minimum color, red, and maximum color, red. Um, direction, just set that to zero. I don't really recommend changing that. Okay, show back. We want that to be true. And uh, show border, true. 
Now, what is this? Well, all this right here is what uh, will make the health bar actually snap to the view while your player moves. If you do not, if you do not type this, the health bar will not snap to the view. Okay, let's go test the game. This will only work for the health. Oops, I forgot to put the object inside the game. Also, something else too before you put the object in the game. Let's go ahead and give this depth of minus one hundred. Reason why I'm gonna put it at minus one hundred. Okay, how do you change? The, how do you set the depth? When you open up your object versus depth, just change that to minus one hundred. We want this to be above everything else. So when uh, the depth is below zero, it is above everything else. Okay, let's go ahead and just add that HUD to the game. Now test it. Now we should uh, have a health bar. It'll be drawn right on the screen and it will follow your uh, follow your camera. And now, as you can see, it will follow the camera. Now let's make it. Let's go and draw the rest of the stats, or make the rest of the stats first. Go to the create event of the HUD. Add two more variables. XP equals zero and XPTO equals let's say a hundred, and let's say level equals one. Okay, in this tutorial, we not might might not be able to make enemies. I'll try to squeeze enemies in here, but I don't know if I'd be able to. But uh, as I was saying, make sure you make these variables. If you don't, it will you'll get in there. Make sure it's in the create event. Add event or now go to the draw. Just copy this whole entire bar. Versus HP, replace that with XP. I'm gonna set the change the color from red to blue. Now, or it says view Y view right here. Set that to plus 16, and this number right here to 32. Now let's go and test the game real fast. Now as you can see, you'll draw the health bar, or experience bar, but there's no experience. Let's go ahead and just test it out and make sure we have the have it working. Set, set XP to, let's say, 15. Go to test the game once more. Okay. And now, as you can see, it will actually draw the experience on the screen. Let's go ahead and set the experience back to zero. Now that we have that, we need to draw the level of your character on the screen. Okay. Go ahead and just... Actually, I don't need to do that. I just need to make a new line. Draw underscore text. The x, which we want view underscore x view zero. Y view underscore y view zero plus forty eight. String HP plus string. Okay, I'll put I'll put the script inside the description. So if you need the script, you don't know, feel like typing it, just copy it from the description. I'll just put the variables you need to string h or level. I think it has the uh, level name, wasn't it? Or level variable? Yeah, level. Okay. <coughs> Let's go ahead and test the game real fast. Oop. Let's go. Let's go ahead and change the versus uh, plus forty eight to plus thirty two. Let's go ahead and uh, look at the game again. And now, yep. Why not put HP? <laughs> I meant to put level. Why not put HP? Make sure it says level. Okay. Let's go. Now, as you can see, it will draw the level on the screen. Now, we're just gonna really get this uh, enemy set up for this tutorial for the next tutorial. In the next tutorial, I'll show you how to be able to make things like AI, really fast, really simple, really awesome AI. Let's call this SPR underscore enemy. What I just did was right click the player and click duplicate. Now I'm just make the enemy here. All I'm gonna do is just make him red. Just red, fill, there. Red enemy. I mean, what's the game without a red enemy? Now let's go ahead and make another object. Call this obj underscore enemy. Add that object, or actually I didn't even name the object yet. <laughs> let's call this obj underscore enemy. Go ahead and add the object to the room. As many as you want. They will not be able to attack you just yet. Next tutorial, I will add the AI. Yeah, I've really got to cut off the video right now. I don't have time. I will talk to you in the next tutorial. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.